And he says, you can relax today. You just chill, relax. I got the baby. So I go to sleep. The baby starts crying. He comes in the room, puts the baby down on the bed, just scream, the baby screaming and hollering. Here, you can get up. He won't stop me. She's just laying there faking sleep, letting me do all the work. So you mean to tell me you felt you were misused because that one night you were required to lose some sleep and care for the child you created? Is this what you're telling me? She's the judge who gives rules on the law and life. She's intense with common sense. She's Judge Lynn Toller on Divorce Court where real couples deal with real life. LaJoy and Khalil thought they knew everything about each other after a friendship that preceded their marriage by two decades. But now, after only one and a half years of marriage, LaJoy says the man she married is a complete stranger to her. I've known my husband for 21 years now, and I know him to be a kind, loving person, and he has not been that person for the past year now. She controls everything, like everything, like she's the wearing the pants in a, in a relationship and I walk around with a, a dress on. LaJoy says she wants to save the marriage, but can Khalil make the necessary changes? Today on Divorce Court. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with LaJoy Hughes Rembert and Mr. Khalil Rembert, Mr. and Mrs. Rembert. You've only been married a year and a half. Uh, you have two children together and other children from previous relationships. Mrs. Rembert, you have brought Mr. Rembert here seeking $700, which you say is the amount that you had to pay for both bail and impound charges for a car, and you are going to tell me about that uh, eventually. However, we're going to start with Mrs. Rembert. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your marriage and why we're here in divorce court today? I've known my husband for 21 years now, about 21 years. And I know him to be a kind, loving person, and he has not been that person for the past about a year now. He's not been emotionally supportive. Like, um, with our first child, when, um, after I had the baby, the doctor came in the next morning and told me that I had had a heart attack. And, um, my husband was nowhere to be found. Like, I called him for hours and hours. I had my family you call him. Hang on, were you, was he there when the baby was actually, during the birth? He was. He was there when the baby was actually born. In born. And, and then, left about an hour later, yes. And left about an hour later. Yes. What happened? We got uh, three other kids at the house that I have to take care of. I have to balance work. I balance the kids, get them to school in the morning, and a little infant that I had to balance with a babysitter that people don't even want to babysit a baby. Oh, uh, an infant, yeah. An infant, yeah. Hey, come get your babies. Man, come get your baby. <laughs> and she's in the hospital. And she's in the hospital, uh, and so I'm balancing all that. I'm at the hospital with her. The babies and the drinks, he's balancing all of that. And the who? The drinks. The drinks. Mm -hmm. So while all this is going on, he's drinking as well. Exactly. Okay. It was a stressful period. Give me another example that you believe is an indication of his failure to appreciate love or support you. Just even with our second child, when um, he got a job offer in New Orleans and he was going to have to be gone for six weeks. During the course of that six weeks was the time I was due to have the baby. We live in a city completely by ourselves. I don't have any family. He doesn't have any family. So he expected me to go and have the baby by myself. The and owner... I, hang on. I expressed, you know, like, I was hurt about it. So I'm like, look, can you try to, um, you know, get this to where you can be there when the baby is born? He's like, you're a big girl. That's what women are made for. You can do it, and you'll be OK. And but, but you're on, she's very dramatic. Mm -hmm. Very, very, very dramatic. So everything she says is, like, exaggerated. OK. It's just like when I wasn't in the hospital, I, she must have been on some type of drugs that the doctor gave her that lapsed her memory, but I was there in the hospital with her. I will remember that. I think I will remember that. <laughs> Not off the drugs that they gave her. Ms. Now, Mr. Rembert, you say that she is a drama queen. She's drama. She faked her preterm labor. Explain that to me. Yes, wow. we, 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 we get to Detroit. Uh, we had a party. And I'm getting dressed. It's a big deal to me. Got my hair cut. Everybody come, friends come over. And we about to head out. She's walking around the house. Uh, I'm contracted. She's only five months pregnant. You're not having eight a baby. Months she five eight months, months pregnant. Eight uh, months pregnant. Eight months pregnant. Bent over like this and, and leaning over the couch. Like, like as if she really is some type of pain, but I know it's drama, so that's why I ain't paying no attention. 
Now, she said she was eight months pregnant. I was eight months pregnant, and I was having contractions the months. whole entire drive down there. The whole entire drive. That was drama, too. And I drove having too. contractions. Well, first as of all, Mr. Remember, I don't know your wife. I do. She's a... I, well, I get that part. I get that it's part. Very dramatic. Wow. But I, I, I will say this on behalf of women who are talking to men who are telling them what they're going through when they're pregnant. I started having contractions in my fifth month. Okay? I did. And uh, it happens to women a lot. Well, and she wasn't about to have a baby, though. But, no, but, yeah, but it, it's a problem, though. I, you, sometimes you have to go and get them stopped so they don't come out at five months. The, la the, the pregnancy maternity, that's a big deal. It's a big, big deal. And whenever you're dealing with a woman who is in the state of creating a new human being in their body, you must be on point. You know, you've got to be on point. And faking, if I was faking, I went to the hospital the next day, I was already dilated to two, and they were picking the contractions up on the monitor. So I'm definitely not faking. Did that she, happen? Wasn't, she wasn't faking it, but she was exaggerating them and making How it more. Can he not help me? How do you know? How do you know? Uh, you don't know anything. Because she's. <laughs> when divorce court continues, is LaJoy's anger problem worse than she thinks? She comes speeding down the street. I hear the truck like. Vroom. I said, Oh Lord, she's gonna try to run me over. I just knew it. Uh -huh. So I jumped up on the curb when she turned around, and she uh, just jumps out the car, runs around. Grab, open the back door, grabs the baby, toss the baby on the sidewalk. I'm like, how can you throw your baby? I was kind of offended because he's my baby. Is your spouse ready to walk out the door, but you want to try and save your marriage? Call toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com or become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Divorce Court is back with the case of LaJoy Hughes Rembert, who says her husband's childishness has put a wedge between them. But is Khalil cheating, too? He has a female at his job picking him up from work. I want you to tell me some things that she did, that her bad temper or the drama that she brings. She's very, very angry. Like, when she gets mad, she gets mad like fire, like breathing out her nose, just fire. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't get up for work, I guess, when she wanted me to or something. And I said, I, I get up I, when I want to. I know how to speed rush to get to work. Um, she comes to my, she said, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave you. I said, we'll leave. I'm, so I went, to, went on to work. Mm -hmm. She said, OK, well, I'm out of here. When you get off work, I'll be gone. Me and the kids will be gone. I said, oh, OK, whatever. So she called her sister and everybody come get her. And she comes to my job. I didn't know. She, I thought we were done. She comes to my job. And doing donuts in my parking lot, doing, in the parking oh, lot of the job. Oh, God. And it my, didn't go anything the, like that. And the co-worker saying, hey, man, I think your wife's outside tripping. Like, she's outside. <laughs> Why are you doing donuts and, 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 and fishtailing them in the uh, job parking lot? I get, I get home, and as she comes speeding, I'm talking to the neighbor, she comes speeding down the street, I hear the truck like, Vroom. I said, oh, Lord, she's going to try to run me over. I just knew it. Uh -huh. So I jumped up on the curb when she turned around, and she uh, just jumps out the car, runs around, grab, open the back door, grabs the baby, Toss the baby on the sidewalk. I was kind of offended because he's my baby. Right. You don't throw my baby like that, you know? That's so my, I that's my baby. I called anybody else's baby that's for that matter. That I, called that's the not police. I called the police. The police, uh, they took my side. They said, Mr. Rember, just uh, you know, stay in the neighborhood house and just relax till she calms down. Okay. Ms. Rember, will you want to give me your version of that event? Because you're not looking very good completely right now. Different. When I woke him up in the morning to get ready for work, he was already, he had to be, his job was like really far away. He had to be there and like, 20 minutes. He was not going to make it on time. But anyway, I woke him up and he, you're so annoying. I, I'm the boss. I paid the, the, the boss to be the cost or whatever he was saying, which I'm sick of him saying that. So, well, yeah. I paid the cost to, to be, the, be boss. the boss. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. He goes to work. He had, I come to pick him up for work at the regular time. He has a female at his job picking him up from work. She pulls on the side of me and I, I recognize her. I was going to trip. I was, but I decided not to. I did not do donuts. I did leave the parking lot in an aggressive manner. <laughs> I did. I okay. heard it myself. I heard it. OK, hang on, hang on. I see him at the house, you know, talking to his drinking buddy, just, you know, drinking like everything OK. Like, that was OK to have a female come pick you up from work, and you're just going to come home like that's normal. It's not at all. So I, I did. I pulled up to him or whatever, and I got the baby out the car seat, set him down next to him. I didn't throw the baby out the mm -hmm. car seat. I set yeah. him down <laughs> next to him in a car seat on the ground. And I said, you are. You're going to wag one of them. 
I did. I said that. And then um, he gets to the <laughs> why car. Why you got to throw my baby out there? Why, why you didn't throw anybody else out there? There was because no one else with me. it was you. Me. She wanted you to take care of exactly. your kid. I mean, just. I would have took care of any of them. Mr. Rimmer, about... you say, now hang on. You say she treats you like a kid and won't let you be a man. I, give me, explain yeah, that like to it's, me. Yeah, like it's, it's as if she um, has to be in charge of everything. Mm -hmm. She has to control everything. The way the money is spent, mm -hmm. the way, how the kids, uh, how they dress, how they, how, they discipline, how they discipline, how the chores go around the house, where I work at, um, everything, I how, I, how I dress, she controls everything. Like everything, like she's the, wearing the pants in a, in a relationship and I walk mm. around with a, a dress on. Dress on, uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like if I you say she's... he is disrespectful, though, and, 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 and especially when he's drinking. He is. One instance, he, um, he told me before he was drinking, because he's Khalil before he's drinking. I got another name. He's Kalu after he starts <laughs> drinking, because he's a complete different person. But anyway, he, um, he talk, he's like, I, had, I just had the baby, actually, about three weeks ago. But anyway, he says, you can relax today. You just... Chill, relax. I got the baby, this and this and that. So I go to sleep, or actually sleep. The baby starts crying. He comes in the room, puts the baby down on the bed, just scream, the baby screaming and hollering. Here, you can get up. You, you can get up with the baby or whatever. So I'm still laying there, the baby just next to me in the bed, just screaming and hollering. He snatches the cover off me to make sure that I woke. Like, you can get up. She you can get up. You get up with the baby. You get up with the baby. I'm like, Khalil, you said that you were going to keep the baby tonight. I don't, I don't care what I said. You can get up with the baby. Forget this. That's I'm, I'm trying to relax. That's, that's, she's exaggerating the story, well, too. That's exactly Mr. Rimmer, you I tell was, me what actually happened. I was happened. up for a long Freezing time that night. I was, no up, cover. I was up for a long time already with the baby. He wouldn't stop crying. I will figure his mother, the nurturer, would see that I'm having problems trying to, I'm a guy trying to, you know, he's newborn. He won't stop me. She's just laying there, guy. laying there faking sleep, uh, let, let, letting me do all the work. <laughs> I gave him bottles and everything, and she just letting me do all the work. So I said, I'm, okay, here you go. I know you uh, woke. Well, I gotta go. So you mean to tell me, woman nine months pregnant goes through labor, does all of that, has the baby, she got the nerve <laughs> to want to sleep one four, night, five I hours up. in a row, and you felt but you I were misused because. Uh, uh, you were misused because that one night you were required to lose some sleep and care for the child you created. Is this what you're telling me? When Divorce Court continues, what does Khalil do that leaves LaJoy reeling from disbelief? So I sat there for a couple minutes thinking, uh, this, this, this cannot be real. This absolutely cannot be real. If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and follow us on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court returns with the case of Khalil Rembert, who wants to divorce his wife of one and a half years because she is too controlling. But does Khalil need to be controlled? Then another instance, um, we were at a family get together and um, a girl walks in. She, hey, Khalil. <laughs> he gets up. He's been drinking. That's he more gets drama. Up. That's more he drama. Gets up. More drama. I'm sitting right here at the, you know, right where she walked in. Exactly hey, the story. Khalil. Miss, Mr. Rembert, please. He gets up, go give her a hug. Hey, I had a baby. Remind you, we're Everybody married now. in the household. Stop hey, it. Hey, I had a baby. I had a baby. You want to come see the baby? And she's like, yeah. <laughs> They walk in the room to go see the baby. He closed the door behind them. Because they were never, smoking. Never, never, never. you never, don't stop it, I will put you out. Never once, never, never said, he never, he never said, uh, hey, this is my wife, I got married, this and this and that. He walks in the room with her, closed the door behind them, and they're just in the room. So I sat there for a couple minutes thinking, uh, this, this, this cannot be real. This absolutely cannot be real. So I get up and I go in a room and I'm like, um, this is done. You, you can come on out of here, like, right now. He's like, what is your problem? In front of the whole family. You are so dramatic. What is, you jealous. What is wrong with you? Are you serious? Can are I, you serious? I'm jealous, but you're in the room with a female with the door closed and did not acknowledge now, me at all. The, the woman who just actually had his baby. Exactly. Mr. Rembrandt, what would you like to say, sir? She's very jealous and insecure. Insecure. That, I'm, Give me an example of something that would demonstrate to me her jealousy 
or lack of security? Um, she checks my Facebook pictures. Mm -hmm. On my, uh, she co comes and comments on comments of people who comment on my pictures. It could be like six, seven years ago. You're a married man. What? What? You're a married man on Facebook with your shirt off and, oh, can I ride with you? And this, that's disrespectful. Backful. At what point are you gonna erase those comments? They've yeah. been there before, even before she was even around. Okay, but They've I'm around there. now. I'm around now. Why don't you tell me about the seven hundred dollars you're seeking uh, for me to award you? Well, he was um, driving without his license were suspended or whatever. And um, that's something that we've been over hundreds of times or whatever. So he just insists that he drives. He got arrested. He went to jail. And um, his bond was $440. And then the impound was $260. OK. Mr. Rembert, how would you like to respond to that? I admit to both of them. Yeah, you did it? Yeah, yeah, I did. Do you admit to the amounts as well? Is she accurate with yes. respect to the, both of those things? Why yeah. did you insist on driving if, if, in fact, you knew you, your license was suspended? I was uh, actually driving LaJoya around. She um, had just had the baby maybe days prior, and she was still weak to be driving a truck. She was really weak, I could tell, and tired. So... <laughs> you can tell, but I got to get up with the baby. I mean, that's what you're supposed to be able to do. You see? That's what I'm supposed to be able yeah, to do. Yeah, no, I, 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 yeah, yeah. He tells on himself every five seconds or so. <laughs> um... When Divorce Court continues, what advice does Joe have for Khalil? Hey, listen, I want to talk to you for a second. Divorce Court returns with the case of LaJoy Hughes Rembert and Khalil Rembert, who have known each other for 21 years but are divorcing after only a year and a half of marriage. Mr. Rembert, I tell you why she's always on you, because somebody needs to be on you. You out there like a two-year-old. You can't eat driving with a suspended license. You can't get up on time for your job. You do whatever comes to mind without any of thought as to whether or not it is appropriate. It's something you need to do. She can't rely on you. She can't depend on you. Single. Not only aren't you a help, you're always causing problems. <laughs> and it's hard to be, be in a house with someone who wants to come in and talk about, I'm the man, make the gold, make the rules, and all that kind of stuff, and you can't even make good decisions. It's hard, and it's just frustrating. I, I don't, you know, I don't recommend anger, because it doesn't help. Doing donuts in the, in the thing, and the driving aggressively, that adds insult on the injury. Not only are you dealing with foolishness, you're going to cause problems in addition to the foolishness you already have, which you don't need. You become the man you ought to be, she should become the more quiet individual that she could be. You got to give her an opportunity. You really, really, you can't do what you want. You need to put the liquor down. You a mean drunk, put the liquor down. He is. If you can't put the liquor down, mean. you need to go to AA because nobody should have to live in a, in a house with a, a person who's a mean drunk. That's just her. <laughs> you got kids at home. I don't think you're a bad guy, Mr. Rembert. I just think you're immature as all get out. <laughs> and you need to grow up, you know? You got a family. Do the right thing. Personally, I'd put the brother out. <laughs> Let him get his... You know, I know you're looking to see if you can save the marriage. But the thing is, if you keep supporting people who are doing the wrong thing, they won't change. He has no reason to change. He doesn't e have a sense of what he ought to do. He's going to be out on his own, flapping in the wind, because he won't be able to get up. He won't be able to do anything. And then, you know, if he decides to become a man that adds to the home as opposed to depriving you of the peace and logic that you, you're entitled to, then he should roll back in. Do you hear me? Yes, ma'am. In the meantime, you paid $700 for his foolishness. Consequently, you should be paid back $700 in favor of Mrs. Rembert. It is so ordered. All rise! Parties may leave the courtroom. Hey, listen, I want to talk to you for a second. I got six sons. First son was born when I was 19, my third one before I was 23. All right? To understand, you become more of a man the higher you raise your wife. Not by pushing her down, not by being, you know, paying the cost to be the boss. You just got to do what's right and you take care of your family and I, and I guarantee you, your life will be much better.